Hey, good morning once again, options traders. Welcome back, everyone. Well, there's an important topic that I wanted to cover here because I'm hearing it a lot more these days, especially with the advent of daily options. But you were hearing this a lot back when weeklies were first created, and it's the risk of repeated exposure. And the strategy you're going to hear from a lot of people is to sell something that's a very high probability trade, such as selling naked puts that are out of the money. And they'll tout, oh, these have a very low chance of going in the money, and hey, they might be trading for 25 or 30 cents, but who cares, sell them 10, 20, 50 times, and just laugh all the way to the bank. And they keep harping on this idea that it has a very high probability for success. But what they're missing is the risk of repeated exposure. So what's this all about? Well, let's go find out. As always, before we do, please be sure to click like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated and definitely helps to promote the channel. So it all starts with this concept of high probability trades. Traders are attracted to things that have high probabilities. Even though we've talked about this a million times, they ignore the role of price. That gets factored in there. But because of this idea of high probability trades, they are attracted to out-of-the-money naked puts. But the problem is that traders don't realize that the more they use the strategy, the more occurrences of bad trades they're going to see. It doesn't matter that it's a high probability or a low probability for it to go in the money. It's this risk of repeated exposure. And the thing to remember is that it only takes one bad trade to blow up an account. So before you start selling naked puts, you have to come up with a trading plan. So the first question I would ask traders, are you only going to use a naked put a few times? Well, if the answer is yes, then you have to question what's the benefit? Why do it? If you're just going to pick some point in time and say, I'm going to sell a handful of puts over the next week and then I'm never going to touch it again. Well, what's the point? There's really no money in that. But if the answer is no, you must realize it's a matter of time before you hit the one bad trade you thought would never happen. And that can be a hard point to understand. So to make the point, let's go check out an interesting simulation in Excel. Okay, so now we're into an Excel spreadsheet, and it looks a lot more complicated than it is. But let's just step through each of these columns. Over here on the left, we have 256 rows. We are going to simulate a coin flip 256 times. And the reason I chose that number is because with that number of flips, you would expect to get one streak of eight heads or eight tails in a row. So that number right there is never going to change. That's the mathematical expectation. Right here is the actual number that we got. So that number is finding the highest number of streaks that we got right there in those 256 flips. So again, that should be fairly constant. Let's give it a try. If I hit F9, I can recalculate. That time we got a streak of nine. Let's try it again. Another streak of nine. There we got seven. Another seven. Another nine. You can see that there's not a lot of variation around that within those 256 flips. But over here on the right, we're going to repeat this process 10,000 times. So check this out, all the way down here, 10,000 rows. And so what I've done is I've set this up into a simulation mode. So that number right there is a simulation of 256 coin flips over here on the left. And it's saying during that run of 256 flips, we got a maximum of eight. Right here is the next run of 256 flips, and we also happen to get eight. On this one, we happen to get six. Down here, we got nine. So again, kind of what we saw over here, lots of sevens, eights, nines. But if you keep doing it long enough, look at this. Over here's the graph of all 10,000 of these. Look at that bar right there. We actually had a streak of 23 heads or 23 tails. So even though you would expect to get eight, we got 23 got almost three times the amount. You would have to expect to flip a coin nearly 8.4 million times before you would see 23 heads or tails in a row. 
So think about that. We sit down at a table, we decide we're going to flip a coin 256 times. Would you expect to see 23 in a row? Not at all. But if you keep doing it, it's going to eventually occur. We're just looking at those tails on a bell curve. They will happen. So let's try it a couple more times here and see what we can get. There's 20. We would expect to flip a coin just over a million times before we would see 20 heads or tails. There's 23. You would need to flip a coin nearly 8.4 million times before you would expect to see a streak of 23 in a row. And yet we got a streak of 23 within 256 flips. Try a couple more here, see if we can get one past 23. There's 24. There's one at 25. You would need 33 and a half million flips before you would expect to see 25 heads or tails in a row. And there we got one within 256 flips. Unbelievable. So the point to see from this is that if we expect this to be over here, let's say our risk, and we say, okay, it's going to be really unusual to get maybe 9 or 10. And maybe that's statistically true. But then you go off and you embark on this continued strategy of selling, let's say, these naked puts. And it's only going to be a matter of time before you see something that is radically different from what you'd expect. Why? That's the risk of repeated exposure. And for anyone who'd like to learn more about the arts and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course, Strategy Lab, and a Candlesticks and Technical Analysis course. It's all at optionsatoz.com. Also, please join us on Options A to Z's Facebook trading group, and you can find a link in the description below.